All right, YouTube, today we are going to clean out a muffler on an SRM 225 Echo. Um, it's just a fire arrestor, a spark arrestor that clogs on these. If you mix the oil too rich on them, it eventually happens. It's not a big deal. First, time, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the spark plug boot. Then uh, T27, you got this one. You got this one. I think those are only two. Take those two out. I use a still tool. I'll put it in the description below. It's it'll do every bolt that you need, and it's a spark plug socket as well. So take these two out. One is coarse thread, and one is fine thread. The coarse thread goes in the back. The fine thread goes in the front. We're just going to lift this co cover off. Just flipping it over. Um, so the only part that's really clogged is probably this part. But we're going to pull the whole muffler off and check inside as well. You see all the tar oil residue buildup, carbon and oil residue buildup where this guy's been mixing his, his uh, stuff too rich. Um, we're going to take out these three T25s first. Then we're going to pull this guy off. And see the screen. This is a spark ruster. It's practically clogged all the way through. I'll show you how to clean that in just a second. Take off these two T25s. What we're looking for is carbon buildup inside, and it's not. If it was built up, hold on. If it was built up, it, you wouldn't be able to see that shiny uh, piston. This piston, by the way, is seen better days. You want yours to be shiny like that, but if you pull this one down, see those scratches on it? Those are bad. It still works, but it is on its way out. This guy probably ran it without oil once. Got it to run again, and now he over oils it all the time. That's probably what the issue is with this. All right, let's get to cleaning this muffler and screen out, the spark raster out. So I'll hold the screen with a pair of pliers to a torch. You'll see it burn right off. And stick this on your tongue. To put it out <laughs> don't do that take the muffler right through the entrance of the muffler we're gonna blow through it you see all that carbon burning up you can go through this side if you want you're burning up all that old oil burning up all that carbon Get it nice and red hot. Oozing down the side. Like literally on fire. There's so much, so much oil and stuff in it. Almost done. Take this and cool it off in water. Don't drop it in the toilet. Mine's a shop toilet, so don't much care about it. But if you drop it into the toilet, the hot metal will hit the porcelain and crack your toilet right in half. All right. The uh, cooled off carbon is hardened now, so throw it against the floor. And you're trying to break off any loose carbon that's in there. You're just breaking up some loose carbon. That's all you're doing. You can actually see it's all uh, shattered in there. Clean spark arrestor. Right in there. 
this is still dirty, but it's not clogged or anything. It's whatever. Put that right there. Like that. It's over top of the spark arrestor. Then you got your uh, three bolts, T25s, to hold that in place. Long bolt screw. And we're going to, oh, we're the gasket go. I'm going to push them through this gasket. Line up the bolts. And uh, tighten them in. Cover on, spark plug boot back in place. Of course, thread goes to the back bolt. Fine thread goes to the front. T25s, tighten them down. Guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if this helped you in any way, shape, or form. Uh, today's t-shirt will be in the description below. Uh, I'll put the, uh, you know, if I find a muffler, I'll put the, the tool that I use in there for sure in the description below. Um, yeah, if you want to do any advertising, message me. Peace.